popping real 16 TV is cuz OP here back with another reaction. This time we're reacting to Trap Lord Ross on King Bond allegedly putting a 100k hit on FBG Duck. I heard about that too, so we're gonna start the screen recording. 3, 2, 1, video playing. Don't forget to hit your like, subscribe, and share button. Or one of them, or two of them. Okay. Well, yeah, Boosie also said that it's free. In certain communities, 100,000 is you're rich. You're not thinking long term. For me, at Boosie, 100,000 is nothing. Like, literally, it makes no difference in our lives. If you put another 100,000 in my bank account, I literally wouldn't do anything. I think <laughs> but, you know, someone who's in a certain financial situation, they think 100,000, they could retire. And that that's what Boosie explained to me. I, I, I agree with that, but then also I think you got to add that to the fact that I think it was bigger than the money. Because these guys have been trying to kill FBG Duck for damn near 12 years, right? Like, he was the big GD. There's so much prestige attached to catching a body. Vonna built his whole career off rapping about bodies that he caught. I think these young guys were like... They didn't even think about it. They just thought like, yo, I'm going to be one of the guys that catches duck and this is going to be my come up. And a lot of those guys went on to do songs where they're talking about, you know, with duck and no bodies. A few of them guys made songs where they alluded to having been involved in the duck murder. Zell, the young man that took his own life, he had a song where he's basically rapping about what happened. Moowop's got a bunch of songs where he's literally rapping about, he's got that lyric where he says, uh, what was it? A move up from the oh, I'm with the get backs cars. Dude from 63rd couldn't get back up. And he's got some other lyric where he's like, When you're the first one out the car, you better, like, when, you, when you're the first one out the car. But there, isn't there hella people that's from 63rd? How you know you mean him? Oh, you better get to shooting. You watch that video, he's the first one out the car and he gets to shooting. Like, it was all laid out and it was all about the prestige. And I, even then, the way they're rapping about it, it's like, Move up. You listen to these songs where he's rapping about the murder. Like, the guy's rapping like murder's legal. And I think it was all just about, I killed Duck, I'm getting the respect, this is my come up, like Von's come up. Because this was before, like at the time it just, Von made it seem like murder was just legal, to be honest, the way that he was moving. And I think that, that that, that's the guy they were looking up to, and I just don't think they had the foresight. I think it was bigger than the money. I think the money was just a bonus, but the real prestige was, I'm one of the guys that hit Duck, the biggest guy, like I'm a Chicago legend. And that's sad. Well, now you're a prison legend, so. Yeah. But you're no longer in Chicago, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so for the rest of your life, you get to be surrounded by a bunch of men and they could look up to you for doing this. And you also got a bunch of enemies who are GDs who hate you for it that you got to watch your back with. It's, I don't see a win on any level. Was there any proof at all that Vaughn paid the money for this hit? That any money was distributed to any of these guys? Money distributed for the hit? No. Von is on camera giving money to the guys before. And Von is on camera giving these guys all O block chains in the weeks after. I think the Icebox, I think the Icebox chains, or the, like the first appearance of those O block chains from Icebox, uh, Icebox that were given to those guys. I, I, I want to say like August sixteenth, which would have been uh, twelve days after Duck was murdered. Oh, so like everyone's like Duck gets killed, and then suddenly a bunch of guys start getting chains. And I don't want to say that the mm. chains were just for the people that killed Duck, because people were getting chains that were seemingly not involved. But like. Mm. Muwop had the chain, you know, a couple of other guys, they had, they were, Duck dies and you, a chain was given afterwards. Again, you can't say definitively like that chain was specifically kill Duck and I'll get you a chain. I think the chains were already on order, but the whole, yeah. I think just the whole thing was just like. It ironically just looked celebratory. Like it just looked like it was just perfect timing that they just happened to all get nice stuff. Like keep it real, like on some Rico shit, like. This was the criminal organization. These guys were putting in work. They ended up getting chains. They ended up getting their music pushed. And, uh... Brand new cars. It, I, it's, it's, I don't think it was some, like, contract All killing. Of, like, of right, 100 grand, whoever gets dark, first person to get him gets the money. That's I think right. it was more some shit of, like, yo, I got 100, like, I got 100 on deck for, for who's putting in work. And, like, you know, who's doing what? There were other things going on. Obviously, you know, there was the guy, uh, Get Right, or Tukaville Man Man, who got killed in 2018 before Vaughn had really taken off. But, you know, as soon as that murder happens, like, Von's on was on Instagram Live making fun of him, saying, what just happened? We just caught a two-piece. So there was an innocent man that got killed. They didn't know he was innocent. Talking about, yeah, we got a two-piece. Von even says, they say on that live, like, the guy was called uh, Can't Get Right, and there was uh, people in the comments on the live saying, can't get up. And Von was like, damn, you coming up with stuff better than us, and you maybe you guys should start killing people. So like, he saw that as his own body, and that was a 2018 murder that supposedly Muwop may have been involved in. And mm -hmm. so it's like... I, I, I definitely, it's, I don't think it's a case of 100K in a briefcase, but I think it's a case of like, yo, it's 100K on the table, like, who's putting in work? Who wants a chain? Who's who's repping the gang? And unfortunately, you know, now all those guys are in jail, you know, it's it's yeah. the, but ultimately, as, as sad, as messed up as it is, like, 
that's what's supposed to happen. You know, that's what the justice system's all about. You can't be going downtown and shooting people up. These guys. They said, what do you say? You either dead or in jail, or you just keep getting lucky around this motherfucker. And to be honest, with everything that's happening in this day and age, just stay out the mix. Because that shit, that shit, will, that shit, can, in a split second, your shit could be upside down. But so wrapped up in this drill, gang banging, I'm just going to kill whoever I want lifestyle, they forgot that murder is illegal the, 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 that's just how it's crazy well especially in certain areas this is essentially the rodeo drive i don't think they they forgot that murder was illegal i just think in their area a lot of murders go unsolved so they kind of they kind of look at it like and then like you said king Vaughn is a man that then got away with like tons of the motherfuckers right so yeah they already looking up to a nigga that they know then got away with them and then they also look at their area like niggas die all the time and niggas don't get caught. So it kind of becomes a thing of, uh, obviously we're not going to get in trouble for this. We the are, but of Chicago, the chances are slimmer than another area. a billion dollars worth of like business nobody on dies the street. For real here, so we're never going to get shot. You're not going to sit there and make all these businesses feel like they can't make their money because a bunch of guys from a nearby neighborhood are shooting up the street in broad daylight. No, like there, there's going to be calls from CEOs and so forth yeah. to the police department and the FBI saying, y'all need to fix this because our sales have been down because of this nonsense. This is, this is no longer it's just a little neighborhood hard, thing though. and it could be brushed under the table. It's making, you know, an FBG duck was somebody who had essentially hundreds of millions of streams and was known. Mm -hmm. Yes, he wasn't, you know, chief key for Lil Dirk, but he was still a, a prominent Chicago rapper, especially from from the GD. So I was sad, man. It was it was a, a sad day for me when I heard about that. I, I was really just depressed for a few days. Well, I ain't really listened to bro music too much. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't. But a long time ago, his interview popped up, and I used to just watch DJ Vlad and This Is Fifty like all day. It didn't matter who was interviewing. It didn't matter what they was talking about. I'm like watching this shit all day. Well, I used to watch his, because he had a lot of interesting stories that was, like, curious, because, you know, Vlad asks you about your real life. He don't just ask you about, like, you just your rap career. So he had a lot of interesting stories. So I liked keeping up with those when he was dropping the original ones. But as far as his music, I ain't never really listened to this. But still, it's crazy how it went like this. I listened to more King Von for sure. I listened to like his song when it dropped. Cause it's like I was probably making a point. I've been banging and lost this guy to get the fuck up out of here, mm -hmm. and he would not listen to me. Oh yeah, that's what I was getting at. Well, in them interviews, I do remember every time he asked the dude to leave, and he just look at him like I don't have no reason to leave. I moved too well. I think when he got to the point where he was really, really had some money, he thought that honestly, King Von and them was like not serious about I don't know because obviously they were serious but it, it, it probably they felt like when they got some money it probably wasn't as big of a deal which it shouldn't have been no more like we got out of our situations we no longer have to live like that so why would we you know what I mean because there's niggas out here stuck in the stuck in these situations and we're choosing not to live wild so it's like you could have too honestly but you should always I'm, leave I'm your on area record with this shit. People don't like like you I could have had a private conversation with him about this, but no, I'm like, I'm on camera and I want you Whether to try to, to justify you, they just don't like staying you. here after you've been shot, after you've been stabbed, after your brother just got killed, after a bunch of your friends are, are losing their lives. Like, there's no reason for you to be here. Hmm. Yes, you're not rich, but you see even the King Yellows of the world, they move away even when they're broke and they're still alive. Places like Vegas, because. They're not surrounded by their enemies. They're just surrounded in general by people that just don't like you generally. But go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. R.I.P. King. Uh, I said King. R.I.P. Uh, Duck. F.B.G. Duck. My apologies, but R.I.P. That man. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share.